Khan's DigiSuite is a digital solution for teachers to be used in the classroom to make the teaching learning process more engaging and interesting for the learners. So today we are going to talk about the various features that we have in Collins DG Suite. It has got four different modules called an ebook, test generator, resources, and dictionary. When we talk about ebook, ebook has got activities and animations. So let us have a look at the ebook first. So when you click on the ebook icon, it takes us to the page where it has got all the content starting with names of the chapter. Suppose we click on the bottle of dew. And there you can see that it goes exactly the way it is given in the course book. So it has got all these icons which will take you directly to the interactivities Drawing like this one. The correct statements based on what happened in the story. This is one of the interactivities. There are many more interactivities over here. So teachers are advised to use these interactivities while they are taking up the lesson. But if they want, they can do such interactivities at the end of the lesson as a reinforcement activity. So for example, if I click on this, match the following images, what these characters say in the story. So this particular interactivity is based on the vocabulary exercise that is given as a word file in the chapter. And then suppose I click on a particular page number like page number 50 over here. It directly takes me to that particular page which has got one listening skill activity. I click on the audio icon. In this spot, you have to use a racket to hit the shuttlecock over a net. A shuttlecock is a small... I can pause this audio and I can also play it but minimize it, it so that the screen is visible with the questions. Now suppose I go back to the landing page and I want to look at the resources again separately. So if I click on this and I come to this particular page, it shows books as well as units. Suppose I click on the books, it will take me to the lesson plans and if I click on the lesson plan, it will take me to the PDFs of the lesson plans given in your TRB which is teacher's resource book, which you have got as a hard copy. But if you want to take a printout, you can do so from DG Suite as well. So it talks about all the pre-reading activity, while reading activity, post-reading activity, as it is given in the TRB. At the same time, you can go to the animations from here as well. So animations are the poems given in the animated version, like for example, You can pause this animation to explain the concept and again move as per your wish. So there are a number of ways you can use this DG Suite. Now here is the test generator. If you go to the test generator, you can create your own test papers. It can be revision test paper, it can be unit test or test for the entire book. Though there are summative papers and formative papers given in the teacher's manual separately with answer keys, but from here also you can generate test papers. Like for example, if I choose this particular test for this particular chapter and I choose all multiple choice questions and fill in the blanks question, I need to save it, move further and it is showing the blueprint of the test paper being created. So as I have chosen only two types of questions, it is showing two types of questions, the selection here and I need to assign marks. Suppose I assign marks, multiple choice questions, two marks each, fill in the blanks, one mark each. I'm not calculating the marks. It is anyway calculating it itself. At the top, you can see maximum marks being given. Suppose I give 15 minutes for this paper. I save it, move further. I need to name the school. And the test, maybe it's a revision test. And then I put all the instruction there that read your question carefully before attempting them. And I can insert the school's logo, then save it and move further. So this is my test paper. It is generated in two forms, student's copy as well as teacher's copy. It is clearly showing the duration, which is 15 minutes and also the marks. And also showing the segregation of marks with each type of question. And if you scroll down, you'll find it. But since this is a student's copy, the answers are not visible. So if I click on the teacher's copy, the answers are there in blue color 
on the question paper along with the questions. Now I can download this in two different forms in the word file which is a doc form or in PDF form. If I am downloading as a word file I can add my own questions there if I want to or if I want to download it as it is I can download it as a PDF. So if it is a doc file I can go straight to my laptop uh, saving page wherever I want to save it and name it and save it. Here's the fourth model which is a dictionary. As I am showing it as a demonstration class 5 exploring English. So here we have the dictionary which is Collins Primary Illustrated Dictionary. For class 1 and 2 we have given JID which is Junior Illustrated Dictionary and for class 3, 4, 5 Collins Primary Illustrated Dictionary and for class 6, 7, 8 we have given Learners Illustrated Dictionary. So it is as it has been given you can do lots of activities using the dictionary in the class or if you want to look up meaning or play word meaning games in the class you can do so using this particular dictionary. So start using DigiSuite in the classroom. It will not only make your classroom session more interesting and engaging but your students will definitely look forward to have you more in the classroom and enjoy your teaching learning session.